Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the British royal family's official titles have gone through many changes. From Prince William and Kate Middleton's new rank of royalty, to Archie and Lilibet's upgraded distinctions, here's everything you need to know about the new line of succession to the throne. Most notably, the Queen's eldest son Charles assumed the role of King, effective immediately, becoming King Charles III. As the wife of the King, Camilla, who was known as Queen Consort, now goes by Queen Camilla, as the royals dropped the consort from her title in the coronation invitation. And there's been two major changes for Prince William. He's been known as the Duke of Cambridge since the title was bestowed upon him by Queen Elizabeth on his April 2011 wedding day to Kate Middleton. But following the death of Queen Elizabeth, the official Kensington Royal Twitter and Instagram accounts were updated to the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall and Cambridge. This change took place as the Duke of Cornwall title is traditionally held by the eldest son of the reigning British monarch, with his wife taking the Duchess title. Additionally, in a speech on September 9th, King Charles confirmed that Prince William will also take on the title of Prince of Wales, which was formerly held by Charles, although it is not automatic and must be bestowed by the monarch. The male heir to the throne usually takes on the Prince of Wales title. Like William, Kate was given the title of the Duchess of Cambridge on her wedding day in April 2011. In King Charles' first speech as monarch, he also confirmed that Kate will take on the title of the Princess of Wales, a title formerly held by Prince William's late mother, Princess Diana. The official title for Prince William and Princess Kate's first child is now His Royal Highness Prince George of Wales, who is now second in line to the throne behind his father. As for their second child, her title has been updated to Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of Wales. And like the other siblings, the official title for William and Kate's third child is now His Royal Highness Prince Louis of Wales. The late Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, was a prince from birth. He was known as the Earl of Wessex until his 59th birthday in 2023, when King Charles named his brother as the Duke of Edinburgh. The royal title that previously belonged to their father, Prince Philip, who died in April 2021. As for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the two were made Duke and Duchess of Sussex by Queen Elizabeth on the occasion of their wedding in 2018. After stepping back as senior members of the royal family in 2020, Meghan and Harry retained their titles of His and Her Highness, but no longer used them. Although Harry and Meghan's first son, Archie, wasn't given a prince title at birth, he was entitled to the courtesy title of Earl of Dumbarton. However, the couple announced that they had not given him a courtesy title, and he would just be known as Archie Mountbatten-Windsor. Additionally, once King Charles became monarch, Prince Harry and Meghan's two children were automatically entitled to prince and princess titles. However, these titles were not reflected until March of 2023 when they were updated on the royal family's website. 